All right, so what am I doing here? I am going to be constructing a 240 volt capable cable so I can run my welder which um, can run off of 110 or 220. So what we have here, um, hopefully you'll be able to see this, is um, these, uh, there we go, these three um, cables are 10 gauge each. So because there are three of them and they're 10 gauge wire, it is considered a 10 3. All right, so that's how you know what to purchase. Um, you'll have to do extensive Googling. Um, it's a S-O-O-W um, wire. These, um, they look like, I don't know, cardboard wire. They are useless. So um, you can't really um, do anything but cut them out. They don't serve any purpose, so that's just what I'm gonna do. Get them out of my way and remove some of the bulk. And also another thing um, when you're looking for these wires, um, you'll be able to see here a little bit that these are braided copper. They're not a solid a solid copper wire, which is what allows this to be so flexible. Um, and that will also be useful in a shop environment when you are trying to move your cable around. So I've already done one of these by stripping away the plastic coating around here. So I'm going to do that with the others. These are wire strippers and you may be able to see if I get it in the light just right, it's got different gauge sizes. And that's how you know which circle to put your wire in to strip it. So since I know that these are 10 gauge wire, I'm gonna put, put it in right there, twist it a little bit, and then strip it um, to get it clean. So I'm just gonna take this. I can see about the same level I did the other one. I'm in the 10 gauge spot. I'm clamping down. I'm gonna twist and flick. And then you can see uh, that braided copper is a little bit fanned out now, so I'm just going to twist it, bring it together a little bit more, and do the same with the white. Now we've got three clean wires there with the copper exposed. So I'm going to do that to the other end now. All right, so that does it for cleaning up the wire. You can see I did the same process on both ends. All right, so what do I do after that? Well, you need your receptacles, obviously. You need a receiver and you need a plug. So that's what I have here. I've got two different types of receivers. I've got a NEMA 650R and I've got a NEMA 650P. So the R is going to be the receiver. So that's what this is. This is the housing for this receiver. And you may be able to see that I sharpied um, the color where the black one is gonna go it came with the ground already tinted green, which is where the green wire will go. And I left this one the way it was, and that one will be where the white hooks up. So I just did that to help myself. I don't think it's gonna hurt anything, and it's certainly gonna help me get the wire in the right spot. I've already opened these up a little bit. I'm gonna try and loosen this housing a little bit. There is a collar that goes over the wiring that's going to fit um, into here. So your wire is going to go in there and it's going to go in like this and then your wires are going to go up here. And if the copper gets a little messed up, just go back in and twist them down.
And this has a little screw on here that you loosen up. And I'm gonna go back in here. Black in there. Really tighten this down. I was being too uh, ginger with it. Okie doke. I think that's sturdy enough. And the screw is on the outside, as I mentioned earlier. Okie doke. So, now we're going to try this again. Come up here, get the block in there, and we're just putting them in from the other side. And your ground. Looks a little, a little rough, but uh, it's in there. Hopefully that will uh, work out just fine. The screw that never ends. Okie doke. So let's try that again. Like a glove. So just like on the other example, I marked off where the black wire goes by sharpening the um, screw that's going to press down the wire. And they already, the manufacturer already um, labeled this green and that leaves the white to go there. So the wire is going to come in through here and we're gonna hook them up here. So let's do that. Okay, so I've got all of the wires uh, screwed down into each of their uh, respective locations. Green to ground, white and black. And now I'm just going to tighten down uh, the cable. Okay, so now we're going to put the housing on. go in through the front there. All right. So then we test it out to see if it still fits together. Mm -hmm. Ah yeah. I made it. Okay, good. Just got to hork on that sucker. All right. Well, there you go. Oh lord. Okay. Well, I guess we can go test it now. This is exciting.